Hey everyone! I thought I would do a video today um, and I thought the perfect place to, to record this video would be here in my Barbie's soon to be a living room where right now we just have the walls and the window and a fireplace and one couch but I do have plans to get more furniture and have it decorated so as you can see there's this section of the room um, there's the front door over here and then off to the side just a little bit there's a little bit more space um, not much and then a, a door off to another room which is where Kirk is right now but here we have my current I guess you could say Barbies that I'm using so I have Sable right here then I have Bray or Brayden, Jade, and then Kirk again is off to the side. And I have this newest one. She is one of the Barbie fashionistas I just got on the weekend. And I liked her, her head. <laughs> so I put her on Nikki's body, who was a made to move, the soccer player, I think. And I actually had her, I bought her for a different reason. I should actually post that video because I made a video and it was just a fail head swap video so I just kind of kept her um, but I decided to put her on her skin tones don't match a whole lot they don't match a hundred percent but you don't really notice so I'm keeping her and then I have her with her little pets and I think they're supposed to be cats, but I'm saying they're chihuahuas. And so I've named them Salt and Pepper. And then Jade has her dog, Rocker, which is a dog I made. Um, and he is off in the closet right now in the Barbie closet. So, yeah, so these are the dolls. Let me see if I can zoom in on them a little bit more here. Okay, so this is my newest one with her little pets. So I just wanted to come on to kind of show you what I had been doing for the last week and on the weekend. So I did finish this living room and that's just by, I didn't, I shouldn't say even I finished it. I've got the walls up, the window in and the doors kind of done, but I don't have the bottom trim done along the walls yet. So that has to be done and then connecting, um, on the other side of the wall, which you can't see right now at all, it needs to be done as well. And then decorate furniture, all that wonderful stuff. But for the most part, the shell of the room is done and um, I'm okay with it. I am not a big like wallpaper person. <laughs> like this is just a lot of green for me, but based on what I had available to me, this is how it turned out. So. And this is what I'm sticking with. So this was a huge major project for me to do. Um, it wasn't, it took a little bit of time to cut everything to size because it's foam board. The biggest part was actually putting the scrapbook paper on all of the walls, cutting to make sure it all fit, putting the flooring on, um, then doing what little trim I have done, cutting it out, doing the doors, the doors, the front door was a little, it took me forever because I covered it in scrapbook paper. First I cut it, put it in scrapbook paper, didn't like it, painted it. Yeah, it just took me forever. So there are those. I should show you. Let's see if we can zoom around to the other, the, the side of the room that you're missing just so you can see it. So there's just like a little, maybe another inch on the side after this door, but you're starting to see this. So, <laughs> so let's pan back. Okay. So that took me quite a bit. Actually, this took me all day Sunday to do the wallpaper and the trim and then glue the pieces together and the doors. The, during the week at night, what I did was I built the fireplace. So I can show you that. 
And so I was able to do that one night. And so the other piece I did during the week was to make the dresses for the girls. I wanted <clears throat> something for Valentine's Day. Okay, so this is Sable's outfit. She has a Valentine's top on and I made it myself. It's not my favorite top. I would never put a pattern like this on, but I wanted her to have something kind of Valentine's pink and this is kind of the material I had so I went with it. So this is her shirt. So on the sleeves what I tried to do is beaded kind of cufflinks that are red and gold. I also put a little heart on her belt and her belt is not permanently attached to the skirt so that I can take the red heart off because that is not what I would like to see on the skirt for a long term. And then the skirt is past the knee, so kind of like top of the calf length. And it does have a slot, side slit, so you can see her leg poking out there. It is a stretch corduroy material. I'm not fussy about the stitching on it. Um, it showed in some places and didn't in others because of the corduroy material. And it was a, kind of like a cream color, but I didn't really have a brown or tan when I was putting her skirt together. So unfortunately it is what it is. And then this is kind of what it looks like from the back. You can see it does up here with a little Velcro. This is the first time I've ever made this skirt. So I am new to sewing. And really I didn't use a pattern for this. I'm finding patterns really frustrate me. So I just make it on my own. You know, I put the fabric up to her and pin and cut and, you know, I dart where I need to and I just make it work. So it's not the best, it's not the cleanest, but it works for me. And I'm really enjoying just experimenting doing things. So here it is from the side. And this is where you can really see how the stitching shows in some areas and doesn't in others. And like I said, um, I really didn't have the right color thread to do it, so, you know, I just went with it. This, obviously, not my favorite outfit, but for her, I feel like I have to make her clothes. I don't know. She doesn't really fit into Barbie clothes very well. Plus, I wanted something Valentine's, and it gives me something to do. All right, up next we have my newest, and my husband actually has named her Tabitha, so I'm calling her Tabby for short. <laughs> but here she is in her outfit, and I've made this for her. Well, not for her, I'm sorry, I made it for this body. And again, this is another dress I just made by putting the fabric up to her, cutting it and styling it, and it kind of just formed itself. I think it's got like this really 50s retro style to it. It's longer. Uh, and then it has, here we go, it is like a tank top almost. If we look at the side and it comes up to a, um, almost like a turtleneck. So there it is from the side. Let me show you the back. I'll move her hair out of the way. There we go. And she doesn't have shoes on to show you the full necklace, our full <laughs> outfit, but let me pull you closer. Okay, so here I have Jade's outfit. She's wearing a sweater top. It's kind of a crop top with really long sleeves and then just a simple skirt and that's it. Now this took me the longest to do. This outfit I am the most proud of if you look at the sewing details and skills. But um, I love how the sleeves are longer. 
at the ends and they kind of tighten in. It's also a v-neck. It's a sweater material. Let me pull you closer. See if you can see some details to it. So this the front crosses over here in the front. It is quite revealing, but I really wanted to showcase the artist's uh, work on her neck and the three sparrows there on her chest. And it was supposed to be a crop. Well, it is a little bit of a crop top. So you can see the tattoo on her stomach. But what happened is the skirt rises up because I made my darts. Um, I pulled them in too much because the skirt was supposed to start lower on her. But it is what it is. So unfortunately you can't see that when the skirt's done up at the back. And the skirt, like I said, it's really simple. So let me show you the back here. Let's move her hair out of the way. So again, the V extends down and then it just does up right here with a little tab of Velcro and the skirt does up right here with a little tab of Velcro, which is catching on the stand. And that is Jade's look. All right, so we'll leave the three girls in the background here while I show you a couple other things that I put together this weekend or this week. So I also made these little candy bags. I don't know if you can see them here. They're kind of blurry because of how I had to make them, but I've got a Reese's mini heart bag of treats. Uh, this one's really, really hard to re see clearly, but it'll just give you an idea. These are like the candy hearts, um, the sayings, a little bag of treats. I have Hershey's Kisses, bag of Hershey's Kisses. This is a little bag of Airheads candy. And Sweet Tart Hearts candy. So I put those together. And then while I was out shopping, I did pick up a few things just some tiny little expensive items because the closet in this room are kind of the main rooms that I'll be using for my dolls. They may get their own small little bedroom, but they're not to the scale. They won't be this scale and size of um, these main rooms, I guess you could say. The rest of the dioramas I wanna do are gonna be small, quick ones that I can fold and put away the items into a drawer. And so I was thinking, you know, maybe I'll do a bedroom for them, you know, maybe a kitchen if I'm feeling adventurous. But even though I don't really have, like, I'm not into the baby Barbies or toddlers in my main pictures and, and everything, I did want to kind of create like a kid's room as one of the small dioramas that I can kind of fold away and just do pictures of once in a while. So I thought I'd grab a few things because they were like really crazy and expensive. And I thought while I come across them, I'm going to grab some. So the first is this little uh, Sparkles Girls doll from Walmart. She's like $2. And I thought she'd be cute for a toddler. She reminds me, I can't remember if it's Chelsea or Kelly size. Uh, now let's, I'll just open her up. So let's see. She has got super long hair. I'll need scissors to take this off. So my ring is falling off here. Sorry. <laughs> I need to get that resized. Okay. So here she is in her little purple sparkly dress. Super long auburn hair. I loved the auburn hair, which is why I chose her. So her head does move and turns, but doesn't really tilt. Um, her arms move here and her legs move. So she can be changed out of this dress. However, her purple shoes are painted on. But I don't expect to do a whole lot of pictures of things with her. It's really, I just want to have fun creating a toddler room. 
and it will be kind of like a one and done type thing. <laughs> so I thought in her room she would need a few toys. So I picked up this Polly Pocket. It's really super tiny and I thought it would per be perfect if you look at the size to be her doll with her doll's room. So I thought that would be a good toy for her. Next, I picked up these uh, dogs, the blind boxes. They come in a bag and then they're kind of like in this matchbook box, or match stick box, I guess you'd say. So these I thought would be great for pet or puppy, like play dogs for her. Or they even make great little knickknacks on a shelf, like a little statue. Like this one to me is a really good one because it's all black for decor in the house. But let's move her Polly Pocket. And you can see that it's kind of like the right size for her as a toy. So I've got that one. And this is the second one that came in the pack. Let's see if I can bring that to focus. So it's super cute. They do also have in these blind boxes little uh, bowl but of course that's not something I'll be using because these are going to be um, used as toys or possible statues in the house on like a bookshelf or something so I bought two boxes of those the second box is super cute too because I bought these in the past and I was not a fan of the dog but this is like a little husky with blue eyes kind of hard for my camera to focus it just doesn't know what to look at there we go um, and then the second dog is just like a cute little white terrier so uh, those were the dogs that I picked up for her and again I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them as like decor in the house or just for the toddler room when I do it as toys but these are, I think they're like $2 each. Uh, the Polly Pockets was four. And then I went to Michael's because I had to get scrapbook paper. I had to get more felt because this couch is actually going to be a sectional when I'm finished. So there's another piece. That's why it's so long. It's four cushions. There's going to be, I can't remember if it's going to be two, two cushions or three that comes out. I think it's going to be two cushions um, that comes out off this. So I got more felt for it. And while I was there, um, I saw a video from 16th Avenue before I went and she was showing these little miniatures she does for her houses that she looks for. And uh, so I thought, oh, you know, I'm gonna take a look. So I found these tiny, tiny little um, figurines. This is the fantasy figurine, but they did have like a barnyard um, group dinosaurs. The dinosaurs are super cute if you have like a little toddler boy for your diorama for his toys. So adorable. But I picked these up because I loved the purple dragon. I love dragons to be perfectly honest. I mean that's why I loved um, the fantasy games like um, I don't know probably this will date me but like Ultima Online I used to play and EverQuest and WoW obviously I played for like years and years but I have so I picked up these and I thought they would be really good in a home office or something as some statues even I could paint some of them like I like the purple and gold but I thought you know even taking one like this blue one back here and painting it gold or silver so I grabbed that and I also noticed in it it has a unicorn and then a little Pegasus in here too. And not only would these be good for little statues in the house, but they are also perfect little toddler toys. They're the right size. So uh, this little Sparkles girl may inherit the unicorn and Pegasus um, and a dragon. I mean, girls like dragons too, right? Obviously, because I do. <laughs> so 
of those I picked up. And these are $6 a package. Um, but that was at Michael's, so I don't know. I think Hobby Lobby carries them. Probably any hobby store carries them in their figurine section. And they're in the small bags because I've always looked at the figurines. But I never looked at this small, tiny bags. Like, I didn't really pay attention to them. So after watching 16th Avenue's video, I did pay attention and I saw these and loved them. And then we went to the dollar store and Jade, um, her personality, I kind of got her down and what she likes. So I wanted her to collect the Monster High little Lego action figures. She has two, I have them in the closet. Um, and those are, I wanna say series three or series two, I can't remember. But when I was at the dollar store, I found almost all of series. Let me grab one and I can tell you what series. So I have found almost all of series three. I'm missing one. They were, that dollar store just was missing one. So I grabbed all of them uh, because when I do her room, I thought I would do Monster High. Um, yeah, and then when I was doing that, I came across this at the dollar store. And it's like just this little tiny Star Wars figure. Uh, you know, it's not huge or anything, but if I did an office for like Kirk or Bray, I thought it would be good to give them some like manly, maybe I'll do a, like a manscape for them. And I thought it would be cool to give them some little action heroes of their own. Like I have Captain James T. Kirk, little uh, Lego guy. And, and I just bought it because it was, you know, obviously in the image of my Kirk, who is the Captain James Kirk Barbie doll. So I just thought it would be something cute that I could add in and incorporate into their either room or their man cave or whatever I do. So I bought those. The rest of the items I got really are more about crafting and adding things into the rooms. Um, so yeah, that's, well, I won't go through all those and bore you, but I thought it was a, this was a good start uh, on a toddler future room. Again, it's not gonna be something I do anytime soon. I have this room to finish. Like it's got no wall decorations. Uh, I do have plans but it doesn't have any decorations on the wall yet. I haven't finished the trim yet. I still have to do the furniture because all it has right now is a couch. And I really want to get the sectional and maybe an end table, a bookshelf, coffee table, maybe even like a little round um, dining table to sit in here. So there's a lot of work left to do in this room. Uh, so no new rooms will be started till I get this room somewhat done, at least with the big furniture pieces. I may not get it all decorated because I feel like I wanna be able to grow the decorations as I come across the right thing. So I may start on other dioramas before I completely decorate. But um, the closet for the most part is done now. It's got shelves in it. Uh, it's got its final wall. It's got a door in it. <laughs> Uh, where it didn't have that before the weekend. So that room I'm really comfortable and happy with. It's a good place to do pictures of them in their clothes. And in fact, that's what I should have done. And maybe I'll do next time when I show you clothes that I make for them. I'll model them in the closet rather than in the middle of the living room, right in front of the window that has no curtains at the present time. So yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, I do know a lot of my viewers definitely seem to prefer the Reborns because I see the views that Emmy's video gets <laughs> versus the Barbies and that's okay. I'll continue to make videos with Emmy. But um, you know, if you do still enjoy seeing the Barbies, let me know if there's some other content you'd like to see with Barbies because I really am spending most of my time with them, I'm really totally enjoying them, whether it's building a diorama, doing uh, the sewing for their clothes, or even just, you know, just miscellaneous stuff with them. 
Like, uh, if you watch my froggy stuff, which I'm sure anyone into Barbies and toys has watched, I really like to take in, uh, their books, you know, their um, printables, and, and do things with them. So I do a lot of crafty items <laughs> with the Barbies. And uh, yeah, so if you're interested in seeing any of that on film, or not on film anymore, I guess, if you'd like to see any of that recorded, just let me know in the comments below and thank you so much for watching.